All right. This is the mouse that I cut yesterday. I finished foiling it. Uh, I laid all the pieces out, you know, where they go. So the very first step is you gotta take your flux, which is, I use this classic 100 gel flux that's actually made for stained glass. It, uh, it doesn't stain anything, it's really easy to remove. It's, it's great stuff. So the first thing you do is you get all of your copper that you're going to be attaching solder to real wet with this gel stuff. And I probably put on a little more than I should, but you know, it makes it easier. And uh, what the flux does is it cleans the copper and it prepares it to receive the solder. So I got my soldering iron here. It's totally warmed up, it's ready to go. I got my roll of solder here. This is a, uh, I believe this is 6040 lead uh, tin solder. So here we go. And uh, now the first thing I do is you just kind of feed the solder onto the, the iron and you just go over all the lines. And I'm doing the front first. I always do. Some people start with the back. Um, but I actually, it doesn't matter to me because I just do a real rough coat on the front to start and then I flip it over and do the back and then I flip it over and finish the front nicely. Uh, that's just how I do it. I, I, I think everyone does it differently. Maybe there's a correct way, as I said, and self-taught. So maybe someone out there that learned the right way is screaming at their computer while they watch this, but I doubt it. It doesn't really matter. Um, I actually do a lot of soldering at work. Um, that's one of the reasons I got into stained glass is because I already possessed all the skills. Uh, I watched a five minute video one time and I went, oh shit, I can do all that. You know what? I'm just going to give it a shot. And I don't even think I actually watched the whole video. So, as I said, I'm self-taught. I probably do some stuff wrong, but it seems to work, you know? No one has any complaints. Forgot to get some out on the little nose. So, I'll throw some on there. Oop, I moved. Alright, so now all the pieces are connected. Um, I'm going to flip it over real quick. And I'm going to wet down the back side. Same thing everywhere that I'm planning on soldering. Uh, I'm not worrying about the outside border because I'm not soldering any of that copper foil. Uh, what I do is I take this, uh, I'll show you in a, you know, for a little bit. This is actually lead border metal. It's called a, it's a U-channel, you know, obviously. It's the thinnest stuff that they sell at the stained glass store that I frequent. So this is ready to receive solder on the back. Let's do that real quick. And I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible because I don't want to make a real long video. And you just kinda go just get the solder on there. Just filling up all the cracks with solder and then I go over it and kind of touch it up and try and make the bead look nice. Um, it's actually decent so far. Just kind of retouching places where I have too much solder, you retouch it and thin it out. Maybe add more to places that don't have enough. And I don't worry about making it perfect until after I put the border on because I mean, you can always retouch it. And at some point, I have to solder on little pieces of copper wire to add some lines here and there. And it's basically at that point that I worry about making it look as pretty as possible. Uh, sorry everything's upside down for you. What you can see is it's just uh, you know, soldered together. The back looks much nicer than the front at the moment. Because the front, when I did that, I was just getting everything connected so that I could flip it over, you know. And there we go. Now, I probably don't even need to add solder to most of it. I'm just kind of go over the thick place. Eh, occasionally, I might need to add a little drop here and there. Um, I think I am not as exacting as a lot of people that do stained glass. Like, I'll be a little more forgiving of little gaps and stuff because I 
uh, I have confidence in my soldering abilities. I think I can kind of hide more mistakes than most people think that they can. Uh, which is probably a carryover from work when I'm always hiding mistakes with solder. So, uh, I've watched videos of people that do stained glass, and some of them are very, like, they, they have really, their tolerances are almost nothing, and I, I'm not like that. I just, I'm a uh, quantity stained glass guy. I just like to make a lot of shit. So, if it's not perfect, it's not the end of the world, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I've made bigger pieces where I focus more on making it look nice, but with a little piece like, you know, these mice, especially since the mice are all gifts, I mean, I'll just whip out a couple of them in a day, you know, I'm not going to spend all evening trying to make it perfect, which I feel bad saying if anyone out there is getting one. But you like it, right? Mm, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's okay. Uh, as I said, I'll touch it up later. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to take off all the chunks of solder that are around the edges. Just kind of heat them up and let them drip onto the table. Because um, I can't have real thick spots around, you know, like chunks of solder I need to get all those off because the, they won't let the border get in there, you know. There's a little wet sponge on the soldering iron, it cleans off the tip. cleaning my soldering iron a little bit right now, but that would take time, so I'll just power through. Just removing chunks of solder. And it would be a lot easier if it was clean, actually, but for some reason it seems pretty dirty right now. I think I should have cleaned it before I even started. But, you know, what am I going to do? Do it the right way? Not me. I do it the fast way. You know, if someone commissions something, I usually take a little more time with it, you know. But as I said, with these mice, I'm... I made like 60 of them, I'm just trying to get them out to people. Which means I might go a little faster than I should. But faster means I can make more of them and give more of them away. Which is my goal, really. They seem to make people happy. And I like making people happy. Alright, so I'm happy with that for now. Uh, both sides are pretty smooth, the solder. It's, it's not bad. So, next step. Get the chair out of the way. This is the lead, the lead border, the U channel. These are my uh, nice lead snips. So, let me get a rag. Take off some of this because my hands are bleeding all over. I think I probably bled from 10 different places today at work. So it's best not to get this acid in the cuts because it stings. I don't really care about the health reasons, it just stings. So now, this is real bendy. It's real, you know, it's lead, so it's very forgiving. So what I always do is I start right at the front of the little tummy. And then you just kind of hold it, and you just bend it around the glass everywhere. It's really, you would think it would be a harder process than it is, maybe. 
This lead just bends. It's real nice and easy to work with, especially this real thin stuff. So, let's see. You kind of fill it in, and I pre-bend it right there, and just kind of work it into the corners. And hold it down, and just keep going. Alright. Good progress. Got most of the way around. Around the little nose. Boom, boom, boom. Now the next step is I have to attach this border metal to all the other solder lines. Which I will do in just a moment. As soon as I finish it and cut it. Let's see here. Alright, good enough. So, there's still more steps, obviously. But, get this in here. Sorry, concentrating a little too much. Too talk. Alright, so I worked the lead all the way around. Um, but I still have to solder it on, like here, 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 and the nose in there, you know? Uh, and then I also have to put a little piece of it inside the hole where the tail is. Soldering is still hot. This is uh, another thing I can use to kind of clean it off. It's got like steel wool or something in there. No, it's brass colored, so maybe it's not steel wool. But now it gets the uh, tip all nice and tinned. It's still super hot. Alright, next step, let's put just a dab of this acid everywhere that I'm going to be soldering. Now I usually start at the first spot, and sometimes instead of using that, I'll just grab a little piece that came off and throw it on there. Because I don't need a ton of solder for this. Oh, there we go. Let's touch it to there. And I take this and I push it up. Solder that together. Alright, now I don't have to worry about pushing it or anything because it's, it's attached. I just have to finish soldering all the spots. And I'll do that real quick. Attaching all the solder lines to the border. Makes it a lot more solid. Nothing will move around. And, you know, of course it looks a lot better than if I were not to do this. Uh, for a while I was actually peeling the copper foil off of around the border. Um, I don't know why I was doing that. It really isn't necessary. You really can't see it. Like right here you can kind of see it, but uh, lead is so easy to move and stuff that I can kind of push it in and cover that. I don't even want to notice. I'll kind of push it down. Alright. Flip it over and we'll solder all these spots. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I know lead is bad for you, but I seriously live in lead all day at work and come home, do it more. It's like sharp things in lead. slower if I wasn't making the video I might 
but it seems to actually come together pretty nicely. And, yeah, it might be a lot. I might just go for quick. <laughs> I don't like to take my time with anything really if I don't have to. I just like to get stuff done. And, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Next step, I need to fill this little hole with lead border as well. This is tricky. This part is tricky sometimes. Because they have to um, flip it over. To work it. Work the lead in around the tail. And the tricky part is not leaving too big of a gap at the top and still being able to fit it in place. It, let's see. Put it at an angle. Try to work it into that hole. Let me grab my fid. Open it up. Get it against the glass everywhere. Alright, good enough. Touch up some more flux. Let's solder this puppy on. After this, I still have to cut little pieces of wire and do the other lines, like the line between the ears and the lines on the cape. Um, and then the very last step is I just attach the eye on the front with just a little dot of epoxy. But we'll see. I might not do that in a video. I might. It's right there. I did set it all up. We'll see how long this is. part but as I said I'm doing the video so I'm just trying to get it done. But the video's already gonna be at least twenty minutes so don't wanna waste too much time. Yeah sometimes this is the toughest part getting where this border attaches to itself to look nice. So a tiny bit more solder. Hmm, that made it nicer before, but good enough, I think. So, um, there's a couple places where you can see a tiny bit of the foil, like here and here, but you can kind of, or I can push that out of the way when it's all done. But for now, mouse looks okay so far, right? There we go. So this is tinned copper wire, and tin just means that it already has solder on the outside. Uh, let's see. Just gonna make cut the pieces I need. I've done this enough times so I don't need to look at the pattern or anything. I know exactly what pieces I need. Is that the front legs? Let me get that better in a minute. Here's for the ear. And the cape. And I really just do everything quicker than I should probably. Especially now that I'm making a video, but As I said, these are gifts. 
I can do it as quick as I want. No one seems to mind. They're not absolutely perfect. Now, I certainly am not that exacting in any area of my life. Not a perfectionist. Alright. So I use a little nail. Chug a little coffee. Another part of my MO. And I'm just going to touch some of this everywhere where I'm going to be attaching the wire. Okay. What I do is I attach it to the lead lines, or the solder lines, I'm sorry, um, because they're the ones that I made. I don't attach it to the lead on the outside yet. I do that afterwards, once they're not going to be moving. So, get it where I want it. If I touch, if I start with the outside and I mess it up, it's a lot harder to fix than if I mess up one of the inside lines. If I made the inside lines, I can fix them. The outside border, if you accidentally melt it too much or something, it really is impossible to get it to look as nice as it does when you buy it. I try and touch the outside border with the soldering iron as little as possible. Oop, lost it. Now it's time to attach it to the border. This is the part where I really don't want to mess it up because, as I said, it is hard to fix the border if you make it not pretty. And what I actually do is I touch touch the tinned wire with some solder and then drag it towards the border until the solder touches the border and attaches itself. Um, that's just the safest way I've found to not screw up the border, which is my number one goal at this point. Okay. All right, so there you go. Let's get some of the solder off right here. It's a little bit of a build up where the two ends of the border metal meet. Ooh, there we go. Now this mouse is all soldered up. So much so that I'm going to turn off the soldering iron. The only thing left to do is glue on the eye. It's a good progress on this one. Well, maybe not. 23 minutes so far. Pushing 24. Anyway. Off the eye. I use JB Quick. Uh, fast drying it takes like eight minutes to dry, so I will probably attach the eye, hit stop, and then hit play again in a few minutes and hold it up for you. Um, hold. So with the JB weld, you just put equal amounts of both colors, tube, it's epoxy, so you just mix it in roughly equal amounts, and then just take a toothpick, mix that up, I'm just on a little piece of glass, a little broken piece of glass that is about to go in the trash anyway, and of course I put way too much epoxy down there, but you know, it's not like it's going to break the bank. So, grab the bigger pliers. What I do is I attach, I put a little fat drop of epoxy on here. 
up a little bit came over the side and then just clean it off a little bit. Alright. Now I just drop it right on where the eye goes. I take the other side that's clean and kind of push it down. Make sure it is where I want it. It's good enough. Alright. So, I'm going to move that a tiny bit. Alright, so, here's the mouse. It's all done. And that was, uh, less than 26 minutes. You know what? I think I'm good. I don't think you need to see it once it dries. That's a good enough shot, right? Well, that's it. I soldered a mouse. Thanks for watching.